And don't do that. He has a 276 here, looking at um, armor 3. I've got the uh, Tano uh, correction, the armor 3 Apex sneak peek uh, happening here. Uh, have a look at the uh, Tanoa map and assets. Uh, if you want to uh, have a look at this for yourself, just uh, right click on your Armour 3 there, click on betas and select the Apex Sneak, pre pre uh, sneak Preview. Uh, development has the Tanoa map but none of the assets and obviously none goes back to your default. That's how you get into it. Yeah. The launcher here has your Apex preview in the top left here, and I've uh, unloaded all my mods. Running straight vanilla here. Let that load up. So we'll good. Just do a quick rundown through a lot of the uh, the new assets in the, uh, the virtual arsenal here. Uh, and here's the uh, new menu. Looking pretty uh, pretty snazzy there. Uh, so, uh, where do we want to start? So, in tutorials here, you got uh, Virtual Arsenal here, it lets you uh, have a look at the, a lot of the assets and that. So, we'll start here. Alright, so we've just got our, uh, our dude here. And we'll start with uh, uniforms. So, uh, nurse in here in the Arsenal, you've got all these A's, these are all the Apex uh, DLC stuff. Uh, so, let's see the uh, different clothes here. So here you start getting to the uh, combat fatigues. This is your uh, NATO uh, Tropic, NATO T, uh, CTRG in the uh, tropical guys here. Sleeves rolled up with the T. Uh, they've also got an urban version, which has got the grey place of the black there. Uh, go through, you've got the uh, hex in the uh, for the CSAT, the fatigues in the green hex. Uh, you got your full ghillie uh, in the jungle guys here, as opposed to your uh, arid, so your, uh, your lush there, or semi-arids. So your full ghillie for the jungle. Uh, you got the gendarmerie, Gen which is your, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be the uh, police force for your tonight you got uh, just the utility pants there and shirt or you got the uh, the old worn jumper rather for catching uh, you got your half half gillies there same uh, same deal uh, officer fatigues for your uh, for the green hex uh, paramilitary you got paramilitary uh, faction now you got the garb shorts with the sandals nice looking sandals there uh, tank tops rather the veneer there um, and you got your recon fatigues so recon NATO recon okay you got your special I have no idea what this suit is um, yeah some special suit for CSAT um, yeah I, I don't know uh, I guess we'll find out. Uh, so you got more civilian clothes, beach clothes, sports clothes. Rather nice clothes there. And you also got the Syndicate uniform. Another faction in uh, tonight is the Syndicate. Alright, uh, we'll leave it on CTRG there. Uh, I'll go through the vests here. Uh, so we've got uh, the GL carrier rig. Um, Green no flag. Most of the same armor is just uh, sorry, uh, body armor. It's just different um, skins to it. You got your uh, police force uh, vest there, red bearing vests, and it's all just forest or green slash sash green um, green green skins on them. And your tactical vests. So yeah, nothing special there. Backpacks, there's a few new backpacks we got here. Uh, I'll go with the uh, salt pack first, it's just uh, the tropic version of the assault pack. And then you got your Bergens, you got big, big backs. Look at the load in that. You won't be running very far if you've got uh, fatigue turned on with these packs. And tropic fatigue there, uh, tropic backpack in the Bergen. 
Uh, your green hex version of your carryall. Uh, green hex of the field pack. And then you've got these new Viper harnesses. Looking rather interesting there with a few extra pouches. And again, you can't, they, uh, they've released them, all the skins for the. Uh, all the all, all the colours, so uh, that's what we've got there. Headgear, got some inter new interesting headgear again, just the, the forest version of or the green hex version of that. You got the uh beret for the uh, police force there, tropic boonie hat, uh tropic combat helmet, crew helmet and the sea hat, fender helmet green hex, uh the eight e the esh ECH in green, the light combat helmet, you got the military cap for your police there, uh, green hex military cap, tropic military cap, uh, protector helmet in the green hex, you got your skate helmet, looking uh, ready to go to war there with the skateboard, and you got these special purpose helmets, those funky, and you got the arid for that. Your normal hex, and you got a stealth combat helmet. So it's a, a CTRG skin there. Rather interesting. Uh, face wear, not much here. Just some combat goggles, uh, balaclavas with goggles, balaclava with goggles. MVGs, uh, a few more funky MVGs here too. Uh, so we got the compact MVG for the green hex. X and Urban, so there you see CSAT MVGs, they're looking rather, rather interesting there. And then you got ENVG 2s, which I believe could be the NATO variant, the black, green, and grey. And you got your Tropic skin for your normal MVGs. Uh, binoculars, you got the laser, green hex a laser designator and a khaki laser designator, nothing too uh, crazy there. Okay, um, before going to the rifles, we'll look at the uh, handguns, new handguns. So we just got a, got a khaki version of the P7 there. So it's the old sand colour, green colour, and you've got a PM 9mm. Uh, launcher, uh, again you've got the uh, green hex uh, skins for that, uh, green hex for the MPRLs, and a Tropic in for the MPRLs, and you also got an RPG-7, look at that, nice, straight down the barrel. Alright, on to rifles now, we've got lots and lots of rifles uh, to go here, we've got the AK-12, uh, presumably going to be used for the other factions, an AKM-74, uh, not that one. Got the car 95s, uh, 5.8 millimeter. Uh, you got your uh, drum mag on that one, so you got your machine gunner there. Marksman, green hex variant, and normal hex variant uh, for your CMR. So you got your black CMR, green hex, and normal hex CMR. Uh, you got the green hex uh, link skin there. Uh, Lim 85 and uh, machine gun uh, added to this one. Uh, you got the Tropic skin for the uh, M230, 320, sorry, M320. Um, all your MXs get a new green skin. So I'll just flick through those. Uh, there's a new little uh, submachine gun here, uh, MP5 variant. And now you got your spars. Your spars are, I'm assuming, like your M16 or M4 uh, adaptations here. Come in 556 in the black, khaki, and sand. You got your GL variants, and also your drum mag variants for your uh, assault rifleman. And three colours as well. And you got your marksman rifle. All three variants there. Uh, now you got the type 115, 6.5mm, and uh, if you just take note here, you got uh, two barrels there. I'll uh, show you that in a sec. You've got the green hex variant and a normal hex variant, so 
leave that up there for scopes. Uh, they've added a few scopes here. So you got uh, the black arco and a green hex arco now. DMS in the green green hex and urco is a new new scope there. And khaki and sand. So I'll leave an urco on there for you. Uh, LPRS in. Sorry, LRPS, green hex and tropics there, hollow sight in black, khaki and SMG black and the moss in khaki and R uh, RCO in khaki so uh, I'll put the Urko on there so I'll show you that in a second um, so yeah just went through them quickly just to show you what's going on um, some new insignias as well, uh, CTRG insignias, CTRG, so 14 and 15, see them there. Alright, I'll show you this, uh, this rifle. And, and I forgot to load ammo. Try that. Alright, so you got your normal rifle, you got your full auto, and then quick reload, have 50 cal as part of your rifle. And you got your zoomed in scope, so this is your new. Wow, oh, my shit shot. You can switch back to your normal. There you go. Take you through um, the vehicle. Right, first of all, I'd like to uh, take you through the uh, NATO. Um, as you can see, I've got the uh, green MX here. Nothing's really changed in that regards. Uh, just some of the uniforms here. You got the uh, tropic fatigues there. All your green MXs. Variants is the uh, police forces uh, off road and a couple of the police uh, uniforms. You get the commander there with the beret and the sweater, and you see they're carrying the MP5s. I uh, found a couple of um, Ghost Hawk CTRG skins here the dark and the light. I thought I'd show you those ones. Uh, CTR uh, of the Prowler here, CTRG skin. Uh, that's your sand skin still, uh, you don't necessarily have to use it on the island, but um, yeah, you've got the uh, prowlers available in the, um, for outers and that. And here's your jungle, jungle skin for the prowlers. Here's the, um, the remote drone, attack helicopter drone here. Lots of missiles, lots of uh, things to blow shit up. You'll need a um, UAV terminal to uh, fly that, but that's essentially just like the, um, the other drone, except it can sit and hover. And here is the V44, the uh, VTOL NATO aircraft, the Blackfish for uh, NATO. Uh, it's got uh, this one's a weaponized version. You've got a big 105 millimeter cannon there, 40mm cannon similar to what's on the uh, IFVs and a Gatling gun. So this can do uh, like the AC-130, uh, spin around and shoot shit outside. Uh, there's two transport variants of the uh, V-34 Blackfish, uh, you got a troop transport variant. So uh, I'll just come on, come in. Uh, open ramp. Out. So you see, you got your seats along the sides there. You can uh, shoot from the uh, rearmost seats. Uh, the other one here, uh, which I've coloured in blue for this one, is the uh, vehicle transport variant. So if I just uh, jump in here, open ramp. Look in the back of this one, 
it'll be devoid of seats. Uh, I have tried to get a vehicle up here, but as you can see, you just go through the ramp. So hopefully that'll be uh, fixed up before Tanoa is released. So you can drive up there or somehow load vehicles into the aircraft, but for now, uh, it's not possible. I'll uh, just uh, show you what it's like to lift off in one of these. Turn auto hover on, which will put the uh, blades up vertical. Uh, and I'm caught. I get out of it. Uh, come on. Come on. Pull out. There we go. Yeah, fly forward just like a helicopter. And where is it? I hover off. As you gain more forward speed to automatically. Uh, The engine's in a forward direction. And you start flying like a normal aircraft. You're pulling up. You, uh, slow down, you just uh, pull back. You use Z if you're on keyboard. Slowly come up to. Very cool, eh, to sit there and hover. Uh, if I can land this thing. Uh, she's uh, back into helicopter mode now, you just treat her like a helicopter, you just Collective down until you slow down, slow down, slow down. Anyway, enough of that. I'm sure I could have landed it quite successfully. Okay, now this is the uh, CSAT. Uh, our recon soldier here. As you can see, the uh, the jungle hex of CSAT here. With their funky night vision goals. I want to show you the um, CSAT uh, Quillen, 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 Quillen. That's your uh, green hex version, that's your uh, traditional hex version for Altus, so they come in both skins. Uh, again, you get uh, both skins for most of the vehicles as well. Uh, you got your traditional hex and your green hex there for Tanoa and Altus. Uh, this is their uh, new drone they have here, so much like the uh, NATO drones, uh, flying drones that they had, so they've just um, come back, come into the race there. Four rockets, missiles there. And this is the uh, CSAT uh, VTOL aircraft here. Uh, again, only comes in two variants comes in a vehicle transport and a, a personnel transport uh, variant. As um, both, both variants have. Uh, on them, rockets and guided rockets, and a uh, cannon on the front there. These are quite interesting to fly, you've only got uh, two seats here. Um, I'll probably go back a little bit. Maybe I should grab the other one. <laughs> What's going on? Just grab the other one. Come on. 
Can't get out there. Can't get out. Oh yes. There you go. Come on. Uh, no, 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 no. Come on. Untangle yourselves. Come on. Yeah, these are going to take a little bit of getting used to the fly, hey? Come on. Very responsive fans there, come on. Um. Hey, okay. Give that one a miss. Let's try this one. I have a tendency to want to be going forward. I don't know how you go about. And there you go. I was all just rotating the forward direction. And slow down, same deal. Just uh, slow right down. Okay, you didn't see anything there. Um, no, last uh, bit is the um, civilians and the new um, independent factions. So uh, they're part of the what they call the syndicate. And so you have um, your uh, paramilitary style and. Like your um, oh God, I just looked at it too. Your your other style. I'll um, I'll put it in. I'll put a um, text on the screen for you. Uh, you get uh, a couple of jeeps here. Uh, they come with uh, all sorts of variations to them. Here you can see uh, it's missing its fenders. Um, headrests are missing on that one, where it's got that one. Different interiors. So there's uh, lots of variations to those, and also. Missing at all. Uh, your paramilitaries there. Uh, you got your um, new civilian aircraft here in many different liveries. And uh, we'll take you over to the boats. Beautiful water. This game is just looking fantastic. Up for the occasion. So we get got uh, two ribs here, uh, it's probably a bit shallow water for these guys. Uh, you got your military style rib and your civilian rib. And you got uh, a couple of speedboats here police speedboat, rescue speedboat, and uh, a Greek rescue speedboat. Very well. Speedboat, I think. In the old game, anyway, and you got your uh, jet skis here. Let's go take one of these ribs for a run, shall we? We can. There's cargo. Drive us in. Was a bit too shallow for these guys. Let's try the police speedboat, shall we? Hands on. There we go. As I speed off into... Where's the sun? Um, yeah, not the sunset. As I speed off onto the water, um, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this uh, first look at uh, Tanoa and uh, all the assets that are going to be available. Uh, looking forward to this update and uh, thanks very much. Thanks for watching.